had the DTC30 for about six months now. I brought it in last year through Solmec. Um, I've done, I've only had it a short period of time, but I've done a fair bit of work with it in that time, uh, multiple different jobs. We've had some rock drilling for retaining wall contractors who couldn't get through the rock. Uh, a lot of 600 diameter stuff here in Adelaide, and then a lot of clay drilling and some sand work as well, which has been good. Now we've got about 150 hours on there. Um, we've had quite a few jobs where we've started a project, we've gone in there and we've got really good productivity early on. Um, we've managed to come in and help out some other contractors who have had a bit of difficulty with smaller machines. Um, we've brought the rock augers in, we've drilled the rock and then basically helped them out quite quickly so we've been able to come in. The setup time on the machine is really, really quick. Sometimes we transport it with the auger attached and then once we unload the machine, we're talking five minutes to get it off the truck, two minutes to get it on the site, and we're basically ready to start drilling. The alignment of the machine is really fast, and then the, uh, the setup time is, is less than 10 minutes almost every time. Uh, people don't want to pay you to fix a machine on site. People want you to rock up, they want you to be productive from the get-go, and they want to get their money's worth out of you. And I want to do a good day's work for a good a, a good price, a good rate. So I've been very lucky that um, I've been able to do that with the GX. Um, it's been 100% reliable right from the start. And this just goes with all the other positives of having the machine, the high productivity, uh, transferring, uh, transporting the machine with the auger attached, uh, being able to fold the jib up and getting seven or eight meters in the air, lifting 10, 11 meter cages in, then folding the jib down and drilling under low headroom uh, restrictions as well has been fantastic. We've had trees, verandas, sheds, things like that that have come into play and I can fold the jib down on my own or with one other person in five minutes, ten minutes and continue. Not being a machine operator originally myself, having come from an engineering background, I've had to learn hands-on, I've had to learn on the job how to operate the machine and one of the big uh, positives that I've experienced recently with the GX is that the operation of the machine is very very simple uh, from getting in it to drilling to unloading the tool to folding the jib down to loading the machine on the truck the similarities between this size drill rig and a similar size excavator are um, all the all the way through the controls are all very similar and the the continuity of learning those things and picking them up has been fantastic. It's been very, very easy to learn that. The only negative that I could probably raise at this point in time with this machine, if you can call it a negative because it's horses for courses, is compromised with everything. You buy a bigger machine, you can't get it on a small site. You buy a small machine, you can't get it on a big site. The only negative would be that due to the size of the carrier, the machine is quite heavy in the front. And I think that's probably a compromise between getting a 900 diameter hole, 15 meters deep, on a small carrier. If you're drilling over the dozer blade, it doesn't really matter, but if you're drilling over the rear of the machine, you can notice the machine is slightly front heavy. You have to be a little bit more careful, I would suggest, when you're going up and down, inclines, up ramps, things like that. Even when coming up here, you've got nine meters difference between the road yeah. and, the, and the building site where we're drilling. Yeah. That ramp there was quite steep. I just lay, I'll just lean the uh, mast forward slightly and have the dozer blade up just a touch. This is going up the hill, no problems at all. There was no problems there. But standing here when I was looking up there, it was very steep. It looked like, oh man, oh boy, <laughs> maybe we're going to have a problem here. But you know what? The machine's quite well balanced. It did work out okay. It was, it really wasn't, uh, it wasn't that bad. I had the seatbelt on, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that. Bad. So when it came here, I was sort of uncertain as to exactly what to expect. When I started and once I'd become comfortable in the machine, I found that the production of the machine, the productivity of the machine is very, very high because the controls are so responsive that slewing around in and out of the hole, unloading the auger is a very, very fast process. I find that on some projects I've been drilling in, in certain ground conditions, some soft, soft ground, I've been drilling 9 and 10 metres deep in 20 minutes, 600 diameter. Then I've had other projects where we were drilling some limestone for a retaining wall contractor and we were getting about 4 metres an hour in some, some 
fairly firm limestone material that a five ton excavator with an auger attachment couldn't, couldn't drill at all. So being uncertain with what to expect in those conditions, I was very pleasantly surprised. Most days I'm putting six to 10 holes in up to 10 meters deep without any, any hassles whatsoever. So far I've drilled 450s, 600s, 900s and 1200 diameter with this machine. I find that the weight of the 1200 auger is pushing it a little bit on a machine of this size, especially because the tool is so much further out from the machine to allow you to slew and miss the blade. The, the depths I can still get, a 900 I can get 15 metres any day of the week. Um, in the right ground conditions it hasn't been a problem. The 1200 does start to push those boundaries a little bit. 600 diameter, 450 diameter is, is money in the bank. Every day of the week this machine can do those diameters, no problems whatsoever. Only once you start getting bigger you start to push the limitations a little bit. Also we do have varying types of rock here in South Australia and the rock drilling is something that having a larger machine starts to come into its own. That extra rotary torque and the extra crowd force would certainly come in handy. I feel that uh, machine for myself in the 20 to 30 tonne range would probably be about right. But uh, at the moment I'm very happy with my G8.